Hello and welcome. Here I have another patch and I used an image to create an animation of distorted lines. It goes through SOPs so you can add any SOP for the image. You can create various visuals with different tops and parameters. In this patch I used a noise SOP to create the movements. If I change the parameters you can see the difference. And also this is a geometry. So I can move the camera and see the top image from other views. You are seeing a new visual right now with new settings. So let's start the work. I go into a base to create the patch from the scratch. Remember you can use any top and continue with this method. Here I add a movie file in top. This image is good enough. Add edge after that. So you have the edges of image according to alpha 0 to 1. After that add threshold top. Adjust numbers to get nearly clean lines without shadows or highlights. Add trace as open. From the parameters, set top name to the top threshold. Now I have my image in 3D space. So turn it to a geometry and get a render of it. To do that, add null, geometry comp, camera and light. You can also use materials like line for this geometry. If I assign line material to geometry and adjust the parameters some beautiful results could be achieved. Okay I want to do something else. Add render top. I want to make it bigger. It's better to use SOP transform so that it won't lose quality when be scaled. This is my render for now. Now it's time to add more SOPs. It can be twist, noise, particles etc. By connecting noise SOP I achieve this. Change parameters and get what you want. Also have a look at your camera and see different views. Continue changing parameters. Create the movement you want. For a test, it's my shape with twist SOP. Increase the strength and here is a shape created using top. Okay I don't want twist for now. 
I just have to adjust the parameters of the noise SOP. I will change it later. Let's go for the trick. Add look up top. Add noise top. Connect your render to the first input of the noise and from the parameters go to output and set RGB to noise. By doing this, I got the resolution of render to the noise. Turn off monochrome and connect it to look up. The noise has impact on the background. Add transform after the noise top and decrease the scale slightly. Just one pixel is need to remove the impact on the background. Animate the noise with absolute time expression for the Z-axis translate. After the lookup, add Bloom Top. If you don't have it, go to the palette and find Bloom from Image Filters. Decrease He Pre-Black Level. Add Null and Out Top. So this is the patch, but I need some more adjustments. The noise SOP, period, harmonics, exponent are important. Change them and adjust the amplitude. Let's test the patch for another MOI file. I have these butterflies from Touch Designer samples. You see one of them on the thumbnail. It needs some adjustments again. You have three options to define the shape in 3D world. First, strength of the edge, the threshold top and the threshold of the trace SOP. Obviously more details mean slower performance. With a high-end system, you can use movies with alpha and get the result from them. Consider assigning some LFO or MIDI controllers to these parameters. Again adjust the parameters of noise and the scale for the new image. And here we are. Move the camera and enjoy the visual. Have fun with it. See you later.